other area. Um, and, you know, and she may not have the father around, so it may just be her where she has no father to, you know, help her with these things. So, yeah, um, I, I get, I'll give her that. I'm not going to dog her out like that. I'll give her that. Her situation, she may, she may be not have, to, she may just have to say, hey, man, you got to bite the bullet, man, and go to school, man. I mean, um, and she's doing the best she can. Yeah, that's the best yeah, she can do. That's the best she can do. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the conversation is going to be, but it's not like the school is going to be like, oh, no, it's dangerous. Don't send your kid. <laughs> <laughs> right. A fender bender in a Highland Walmart parking lot turns deadly when one driver shoots and kills the other. Good evening. This is oh, the KTLA 5 wicked. News at 530. I'm Cher Calvin. And hi there. I'm Courtney Farrell in tonight for Micah. The deadly encounter happened Man. after the victim accidentally backed into the suspect's car. KTLA's Inland Empire reporter Shelby Nelson spoke to the victim's son and joins us now in San Bernardino with more. Shelby? <laughs> Sharon Court, this truly is heartbreaking. It was supposed to be just a simple trick, uh, trip, excuse me, to Walmart for John Mock, but instead he was involved in a fender bender that led to him and his life being taken way too soon. Now we talked to his son earlier who says this should have never happened over something so minuscule. He wasn't big on taking pictures. What he did love was his family, cars and his boat. That's what you'll see in the few pictures of 59-year-old Jonathan Mock. I got pictures of him falling asleep with his granddaughter there watching TV together and, and feeding her when she was an infant. He loved his granddaughter. So happy. They'll serve as memories for Matthew Mock and his two brothers after their father was tragically killed in this Highland Walmart parking lot on Highland Avenue last Monday. John had come here to get some ingredients to make jerky. San Bernardino police say at around 8 p.m. he was driving down a lane while the suspect was backing out of her parking spot. For whatever reason, the victim stopped and slowly backed his vehicle up, and that's when he had a collision with the suspect's vehicle. Police say the impact was minor, resulting in a scratch or two. John then got out of his car to apologize. That's when they say 36-year-old Shantice Norton got Damn out it, of her dude. car. Damn, Damn it. it. I was about to bring this on Wicked. <laughs> Oh, even though oh dude, w when they started showing it was San Bernardino, I did start to get that feeling in my gut. Oh, really? What, oh, dude, know, San know. Bernardino is sons. It's bad. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. God damn. Yeah, man. Damn it, dude. I knew once I said it was a woman. I was like, oh, it's a son. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a yeah. woman? It wasn't no tiger that's woman. A, you knew that. <laughs> yes, that's a, that's fuck, that's dude. That's a woman. a woman. Oh, my God. And she doesn't look remorseful one bit. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> she looked like, yeah, and I'll do it again. Bring her back yeah. up like you CPR so I can shoot his ass again. If they, if they let her out, she'll do it again for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. She didn't lose any oh. sleep. She no, not at all. She's still mad at him. She's probably like oh angry. Like she's literally like probably openly like cursing, complaining about him to the cops. Like cops are probably just driving her back to the station. She's like, man, that bitch ass thing. You want nothing? I wouldn't have had shooters at you. <laughs> like, I was on my way home. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, motherfucker, the devil, the devil alive, man. The devil come right at right when you're trying to do good. That's when the devil pop up. She probably calling him the devil because he, you know, he represents the devil in her life by causing her to be arrested and shit. With well, what he did, this is crazy, man. My God, resulting in a scratch or two. John then got out of his car to apologize. That's when they say 36-year-old Shantice Norton got out of her car and allegedly shot him in the face before driving off. I cried when I found out he shot him in the face. Now, this white guy, his son, this white son, he doesn't get to, like, 
I mean, what? I mean, does he get to express any kind of, like, because I know, listen, I know you gliders. We, we understand y'all operate with different frequency. But this guy just killed her. His, this, this chick just killed his dad. Like, literally, like, no questions asked. It wasn't no argument. He got out to apologize. She hopped out, shot him in the face, and rolled off. Like, you got to feel some way about sons, man. And then you say there's sons out there in San Bernardino. There's a lot of sons out there. So you've got to have been in, like, you've got to have felt their presence. You gotta have it seen is strange. In fact, uh... Yeah. Uh, someone good. in the chat called it uh, San Bernardino. Oh, Sammy, that's pretty good, dude. I haven't heard that yet. Yo, you 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 you've had to notice, it, and it wasn't sunny before, right? It's it, it's become sunny, right? Uh, yeah, with the outward expansion of L.A., San Bernardino's east of L.A., so you know the 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 suns from Inglewood and Compton, you know, they get priced out or they move and they go outwards. And they okay, go to so, they, they go eastwards of LA because that's where the desert is. So mm -hmm. it's cheaper out there because south is, you know, Orange County and San Diego and it's more expensive. Mm. Okay. So these sons when was this place Glattery? Ten years ago or twenty years ago? What when was it Glattery? Uh I can't say for sure. But San Bernardino's been a pretty rough spot for quite a while. Oh, okay. It's been, it's been a rough spot. Okay, okay. Mm, this chick just shot your fucking father, man. And just no, he can't he can't act like he got attitude about it because that'll be racist. Or to apologize. That's when they say 36-year-old Shantice Norton got out of her car and allegedly shot him in the face before driving off. I cried when I found out he got killed. And that's what he loved, car. He probably would have fixed the lady car for nothing. <laughs> yeah. She ended up shooting. Her. Those who worked with John at Carrie's Fine Automobiles in San Bernardino are just as devastated as his sons are. I couldn't imagine anybody getting that upset over something so so small, so insignificant. It's so painful. I wouldn't want anybody to go through this. Grieving the death of someone they cherished dearly, someone they looked up to. I want the community to understand the type of loss that is suffered, not only by his family, but by all of us. You know, if, if you're broke down in front of a, a auto parts store and he happened to be there, he's the kind of guy that would offer to help. Through witness statements, police located the suspect 12 hours later. They arrested Norton, who has been charged with murder. I want to see justice served. You know, there, there should be no leniency. This type of thing should not be tolerated. This community is already broken enough over the years of, of all the issues that we do have. All the sun issues that you do have. Unbelievable. Now, the sister in D.C., she wants the um, cops to come and not harass that woman and let her know that they're there for <laughs> And a GoFundMe link has been posted to our website in case you'd like to help the family out. In the meantime, as for that suspect, Again, she's been charged with murder and also a special special allegation for personal intentional use of a firearm. She has since pleaded not guilty and is due back in court on Thursday. That's the very latest here in San Bernardino. I'm Shelby Nelson. Does she got a bond? That's what I want to know. Is she out? Or did, she, did they keep her? That's what I want to know. Shit. Mm, that's crazy. Mm. He's gonna be thinking all night why she did it, but there is no reason. <laughs> right. the she was mad. There's a reason. She was mad. She was just she mad. Yeah, yeah, man. You a car, man. The fuck. She's probably like, I just yeah. got this motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. Just killed your ass. Like, and she killed your ass and rolled off like nothing happened. They got caught 12 hours later. When them cops knocked on the door, she probably was like, she probably was shocked as hell. And she probably thought she got away with it. Yep. Wednesday night and the big story on Action News is breaking news. A deadly stabbing in North Philadelphia led to a standoff between police 
and a possible suspect. An 83-year-old woman was fatally stabbed on her front porch and is believed her killer... An 83-year-old woman was fatally stabbed on her front porch. An 83-year-old woman was fatally stabbed on her front porch and is believed her killer kept police at bay along the 2900 block of North 27th Street this evening. Action News reporter Andy McCormick has been following the story and is live at the scene with the very latest. Annie. Yeah, and Rick, police have told us that the barricade situation is over, but like you can see behind me, this is still a very active scene out here. The fire department is still out here along with detectives and police. Additionally, right now, they are still going into one of the homes there on this block. Now, what happened initially was just after 8 o'clock tonight, police did respond here to the 2900 block of North 27th Street to an 83-year-old woman that was found stabbed once in the side of her neck on her front porch. She was declared dead at the scene. Now, shortly after that, police were looking for a 47-year-old man. A barricade was declared around 920, and when SWAT arrived around 10 o'clock, they approached the front door of the home next door to where the victim does live. Now, officers took a man into custody, but police have not said if that person that they took into custody is connected to what occurred 